Okay. Uh, that, that's another important property for Fourier transform, which is time scaling. What does it mean, time scaling? Time scaling it means that if you have x of t and has the its Fourier transform x of omega, what happens if you multiply t by a? You scale the time, means multiply it by a constant a. All right, a real number. It can be a real number uh, and, and positive. So what happened in this case? Well, look first for the frequency, every omega you divided by a, and then the whole thing you divided by the absolute value of a. If a is negative, so you got to get the only the positive value, you divided by uh, the value of a, and omega divided by a. Well, let's take a simple example. We have a, a continuous time signal x of t, and we know it's Fourier transform and is already sketched here, and it's sketched uh, against omega. So the function here it looks like cosine. So you can say that x of omega is equal and uh, two cosine, because the height here is two, two cosine. Cosine something times omega. I want to see what it is. Well, if I put omega equals zero, so cosine zero is equal one times two will be two. That's right. What about pi over two? Uh, well, cosine pi over two is equal zero. So there is nothing here. It's just one. So it's it's uh, uh, this um, Fourier transform can be represented by this function, but it's not cosine wave all the way because you can find it zero here and there. So what is happening here? We'll say this two cosine omega four omega between a negative pi over two till pi over two and zero otherwise. And just uh, to refresh your memory, what does it mean that you have uh, x of omega looks like that? It, it means this is the, uh, you, you, you can tell about the frequency component in the, in the signal x of t by looking at x of omega. For example, you will observe that at zero, omega equals zero, the DC component is the highest one. And every time we're getting, uh, when the omega is increasing, the amplitude is decreasing of the frequency component till the frequency reach pi over two, will be zero, will be completely disappear. And after pi over two, any doesn't have any frequency component after pi over two. So that what does it mean when you are going to read the, uh, if you want to read or you know the meaning of the Fourier transform of the signal x of t. Well, now we we, we have a, 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 another signal, continuous time signal called y of t, and it's related to the signal x of t by this relationship y of t is equal x of 2t there is time is killing here so if you apply this you just substitute a equal 2 according to that so you will have y of omega will be b1 over the absolute value of a which is 2 it will have positive value so you don't have to use the smallest and then uh, x of omega over 2. That would be the answer. I mean, that's the way you're going to answer it. That's not the final answer. Uh, because we need to sketch it, actually, too. So when you do that, just uh, you have x of omega given. That's 2 cosine omega 4 negative pi over 2 up to pi over 2. So we'll just try this equation. We'll say y of omega will be equal to uh, well you divide by two so you have one half that's one half here and times x of omega over two so cosine and then this omega will be divided by two or omega two and it will be between uh, now this omega also substitute by omega over two every omega so just by omega over two from negative pi over two to positive pi over two and of course zero for the rest let's just simplify uh, oh forgot two here because this was this two here so that's the half that's the half here in the formula and this is the all x of omega by two uh, the x of omega uh, is equal to cosine omega will be two cosine omega over two and that's the interval 
to negative y over 2 to y over 2, but I replace omega by omega 2. Now, let's just uh, write, so half and 2 will be 1, cosine omega over 2, and I need to know the range, so I multiply right and left by 2 to get rid of the 2 here, omega over 2, you want to get rid of it. So multiply by 2, let me just show it here. You multiply everything by 2, multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2. That's cancel, and then, and then you have 2 times negative pi over 2 being negative pi to a positive pi. So, and 0 otherwise. So that would be like uh, the, the signal. So let's just sketch it to see what's happening here. The height will be 1 instead of 2, that's the maximum. If you put omega equal 0, cosine 0 is equal 1, 1, that's 1. And then uh, when you have um, uh, negative pi, when you put here negative pi over 2 will be 0. So at negative pi, that's uh, uh, negative pi over 2. I'm just doing the same scale as well. And we have negative pi. And you have here positive pi over 2 and positive pi. So it happened when you put negative pi or positive pi, the value will be equal 0. So the cosine will be like that. something like that so what do you observe now when you look at the uh, the, the Fourier transform of the signal what, what compare between both uh, uh, frequency response first you'll you observe that the amplitude is half because the scaling was equal to so the amplitude decrease that's number one number two if you look at the frequency uh, range f or, or, the, or, the, or the or the bandwidth the bandwidth uh, for for the original signal you now it's smaller than one so when you uh, when you multiply the time t by integer greater than one the bandwidth get wider so and by the way this would be shorter duration when you multiply two you know it's it's it, when you it's get the time domain it will be shorter it what does it mean it means that if you sketch the the signal for this one the original x of uh, t maybe you find this is the the interval of t that's x of t will be a co uh, for, for, for this interval but if you do that it will be half of it because you multiply by two be shrinking so that will be your y of t the interval of the time okay so when it's shrinking in time uh it get wider wider bandwidth so let's just let's uh, record this important observation we'll say shorter duration what the effect it will give us wider bandwidth and that's an important result all right. Thank you.